Welcome back, car enthusiasts, to the first episode of Detailing History. Today, we're diving into the glossy, slick, and surprisingly fascinating history of car wax. Buckle up, because this ride is about to get shiny. Welcome to Hold My Beer Detailing. Our story begins in the 1800s. If you were born after the 2000s, I must mention that people were not riding old Toyota Priuses and Honda Civics back then. This is how the streets looked like those days. It was long before automobiles graced our roads. Looks a bit chaotic, I know. Strict road rules were not invented yet. So the real life of the average pedestrian in the 1800s looked more like this. However, such a situation on roads did not mean that drivers did not wish to show off. Back then, the idea of polishing a carriage was just as important as waxing our cars today. The world's first wax was invented in a German town called Bischofsheim to protect the lacquer-like paint that was applied to horse carriages. This state chariot, for example, which is preparing to renovate, cost a thousand pounds in 1780. Even the Joneses must have winced at that figure, but just look at that suspension. Carriages, often seen as a status symbol, were meticulously maintained with natural waxes derived from animal fats and beeswax. Imagine riding in a carriage polished with the same stuff you might find in a candle. So who is a multi-purpose detailing product now, huh? Obviously, carriages were made out of wood, so they required the same care as painted furniture. This fact requires a fast forward to the early 20th century, where the automobile revolution was in full swing. And so was the need for products to keep these new machines looking their best. Enter Frank Megwire Jr., the founder of Megwires Incorporation, who started creating furniture polish in 1901. Considering that first cars were carriages without horses and were driven by some mysterious noisy thing called an engine, furniture polish had all the chances to become a future trend. Little did he know, his wax would eventually shine the most iconic cars in history. Frank's polishes were so effective that by the 1920s, car enthusiasts and professional detailers began using them on their automobiles, and the rest, as they say, is history. However, founded in 1910, Simonize was the first company to produce wax specifically for cars. Their paste wax became a staple for early car enthusiasts and set the standard for car care. During the 1920s, the automotive industry was booming. Cars were becoming more affordable, thanks to Henry Ford's assembly line innovations. Just for comparison, by the mid-1920s, 7,500 cars were being produced daily, around one car every 10 seconds. During 2020, there was a 16% production decline to less than 78 million vehicles, which is equivalent to 2010's sales levels. However, back in the 1920s, the automotive industry boom led to a surge in car ownership and, consequently, a growing market for car care products. Early car waxes were primarily made from natural ingredients like beeswax and carnauba wax, derived from the leaves of the Brazilian palm tree. Carnauba wax, often referred to as the queen of waxes, became highly sought after due to its superior durability and high melting point, which made it ideal for protecting cars from the elements. In the 1930s, the Great Depression hit, and the car care industry, uh, like many others, faced significant challenges. However, innovation didn't stop. Companies like Simonize continued to refine their products, focusing on making waxes easier to apply and more effective. The introduction of paste waxes became popular during this era, providing a thick, protective layer that was relatively simple to use. By the late 1930s and into the 1940s, the world was on the brink of World War II. This global conflict brought about shortages in raw materials, including those used in car wax production. However, it also spurred innovation. With natural resources in short supply, chemists began experimenting with synthetic alternatives. These early synthetics were the precursors to the advanced formulas we use today. During the war, many industries, including car care, were forced to adapt. The need for efficient, durable products 
became paramount, leading to the development of new synthetic waxes that could provide lasting protection even under harsh conditions. For example, Plastone Auto Polish is the first bottled car wax. This liquid auto polish was invented in the 1930s and produced in 1944 by Ben Hirsch. It was renamed Turtle Wax for its hard shell finish. Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's a turtle. A turtle? Yeah, super turtle. Everybody wants to get into the act, but I'll stop them because Turtle Wax Auto Polish with Brillium gives your car a super brilliant hard shell finish that protects it like an invisible garage. A full year's supply, only $2. Turtle wax gives a hard shell finish. Turtle wax! The late 1940s marked the beginning of a new age for automobiles, and consequently, car wax. With the war over, industry shifted back to civilian production, and the automotive market experienced a boom. The industry saw a boom in synthetic waxes. Cars were no longer just a means of transportation. They became a symbol of freedom and prosperity. Before moving into the best automotive era, I will only remind you, without any pressure, don't forget to like this video and share it with your car enthusiast friends. Let's move on. Crusade for Freedom is your chance and mine to fight communism. This decision in itself will encourage the people to... $51 billion to be spent by the states on highway construction. In the 1950s, car ownership skyrocketed, and so did the demand for car care products. This decade saw the rise of car culture, with sleek, chrome-laden designs that demanded a high-gloss finish. Traditional Carnaba wax remained popular for its deep, rich shine, but manufacturers also began experimenting with new formulations. One notable example was the introduction of hybrid waxes, which combined natural Carnaba wax with synthetic polymers. This blend provided the deep, rich shine of Carnaba wax, along with the enhanced durability of synthetic materials. An innovative product from the era was Simonized Vista, combining a cleaner and wax in one product. Vista made it possible for car owners to get the unequaled benefits of both Simonized Cleaner and Wax in a single step. This product was a hit among car enthusiasts who wanted a high quality finish without spending hours in the garage. Blue Coral was founded in the mid-1920s, but it gained significant prominence in the 1950s. Blue Coral gained a reputation for producing some of the highest quality car care products available. Their waxes and polishes were often praised for their ability to restore and maintain the beauty of automotive paint. One of their most famous products was the Blue Coral Auto Wax, a premium wax that offered exceptional durability and gloss. It became a favorite among car owners looking for a long-lasting protective finish. Colonite was established in 1936 by Charles H. Collins. Initially, the company focused on producing high-quality waxes for industrial use, including electric insulators and aircraft. However, in 50s, they concentrated on automotive use and had a great success. Their key products were Colonite Insulator Wax number 845 and a Double Coat Auto Wax, both of which you can purchase even nowadays, but with updated formula. Right now, the company may not be as popular as it were in 50s, but it remains a family business until our days. And I think it means a lot. To regard any nuclear missile launched from Cuba against I have a dream. A beautiful day. A Mustang day. Zero. All engine running. Liftoff. As we roll into the 1960s, car culture was in full swing. The decade was characterized by the rise of muscle cars and a booming automotive industry. With more people investing in powerful, stylish vehicles, there was a growing emphasis on maintaining that just-off-the-lot look. This demand led to significant innovations in car wax formulations. One of the key advancements in the 1960s was the introduction of liquid waxes. Traditional paste waxes, while effective, required considerable effort to apply and buff. Holiday, the car washing cream with the built-in shine, the shine that looks a foot deep. Liquid waxes, on the other hand, were much easier to use. They spread more easily and require less elbow grease to achieve a brilliant shine. Products like Meguiar's Mirror or Glaze Line became incredibly popular, offering consumers a more convenient option without sacrificing quality. 
Although Megwires was founded in 1901, it gained significant popularity in the 1960s with the introduction of its mirror glaze line. Liquid waxes also brought about a new level of accessibility. Car care was no longer the exclusive domain of professional detailers. The average car owner could now achieve professional results at home, which helped to fuel the DIY car care movement. The lights are off and they must be looking for a fuse box or something because they flashlights. Mustang 2, named Car of the Year by Motor Trend Magazine. Imagine you are behind the wheel of the brilliant Honda Civic. There was only... The 1970s continued the trend of innovation, but with new challenges and opportunities. One of the most impactful events of this era was the oil crisis of the early 1970s, leading to a push for more efficient and economical vehicles. As oil prices soared, the demand for petroleum-based products, including certain waxes, declined. If you are to demonstrate new finish, the once a year car polish, simply wipe it on and wipe it off. There's no rubbing, no buffing. Look how new finish restored a deep hard shine to even this weather beaten old car. You see, new finish is not a wax, but a space-age polymer formula that shines better and lasts longer. One significant impact of the oil crisis on the car wax industry was the push for more efficient and economical formulations. With the cost of raw materials rising, manufacturers began exploring synthetic alternatives to traditional carnauba wax. Introducing Turtle Extra, the thickest, most effective wax turtle wax has ever made, with special wax and polymers that cling to a car's finish. To demonstrate, we sank this car before we buffed it. Look, hours later, the wax is still there. Synthetic polymer waxes started to gain popularity, offering longer-lasting protection and requiring less frequent application. Companies like Armor All and Rain-X capitalized on this trend, Imagine, beneath the surface, in the underworld of vinyl, plastic, rubber, leather, wood, a battle rages against rot. And nothing fights rot like Armor All Protectant. Introducing products that offered both ease of use and superior protection. Introduced in 1972, Armor All became known for its Armor All Protectant, protective sprays and wipes that kept car interiors looking new and shiny. Launched in the early 1970s, Rain-X developed Rain-X Original Glass Treatment, an innovative water repellent treatment for windshields, enhancing visibility and safety in adverse weather conditions. The environmental movement of the 1970s also had an impact on the car wax industry. Welcome, sulfur dioxide. Hello, carbon monoxide. As awareness of environmental issues grew, manufacturers began to develop more eco-friendly formulations. Water-based waxes and products with reduced volatile organic compounds, VOCs, started to emerge catering to a more environmentally conscious consumer base. But in general, it was the 70s. Nobody cared. I am a night rider. <laughs> I'm a fuel-injected suicide machine. 